Um, let's go ahead and do some work here with balancing uh, chemical reactions. Um, this is page 39 of lecture guide, and we have this reaction um, here, nickel 2 plus um, aqueous and uh, IO4 minus. Um, going to produce uh, nickel 3 plus and iodide, I minus. Okay. Now what you want to do is break this down into two half reactions. I see nickel 2 plus going to nickel 3 plus. Okay, maybe do that on a separate sheet of paper and don't confuse that with the other half reaction that we'll do later. The other half reaction involves iodine, and you can see iodine changing from um, this association with oxygen to just floating by itself. So let's write this out. It's IO4 minus going to produce I minus. Okay. Now, what you want to do in step one is break the reaction down into two halves. Step two is to balance the hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen's balanced, oxygen's balanced. We're done. Now over here we have IO4 minus with four oxygens, so that means that I'm going to have to add four uh, water molecules over here. Okay, four times one oxygen is four, so now there's four oxygens, so um, oxygen is balanced. Okay. Next step we want to balance hydrogen, so if you look here, um, we have. Um, 4 times 2 is 8 hydrogens. Okay, so to get 8 hydrogens on the left, we have to add 8 H. Okay, add 8 H. So now hydrogen is balanced. Okay, next what we want to do is balance the charge. Alright, we have a plus 2 here, and we have a plus 3 here. We add electrons to the more positive side. Electrons are negative, so it's going to lower that value. So we add one electron. Adding one electron to the right-hand side. Okay, so we're done with the charge. Now over here, it's a little bit more tricky. Um, eight H pluses is eight times positive one, or plus eight. IO4 minus has a negative 1 charge, so 8 minus 1 is plus 7 charge on the left. Here we have a minus 1 charge due to 1 I minus, and waters are 0 charge neutral, so 4 times 0 is 0, so the total charge here is minus 1. Okay. We need to bring this positive number, 7 number down to negative 1. How are we going to do that? We are going to subtract 8. Okay. Now you can't subtract 8 from a chemical equation, but we can add 8 electrons, each electron being negative 1. So let's go ahead and write that in. We're going to add 8 electrons, which is a negative 8 charge. We have 8 H plus still. We have IO4 minus. And that's yielding I minus and 4 waters. So now the equation is balanced in terms of charge. The final uh, one of the step six, step six here is to find the common multiple. So there's eight electrons being consumed and only one electron being produced. So we need to multiply all coefficients in this chemical equation by eight. That gives us this equation here, eight nickel two plus goes to produce eight nickel three plus plus eight electrons, okay? Now I'm running out a little bit of space here, so I'm just gonna cancel out the electrons and add these two halves together. So all the left-hand side stuff goes on the left, and the net equation, the net redox equation is going to be eight nickel two plus, um, that's aqueous, I'll put the states on here at the final, plus eight H plus, plus uh, IO4 negative, that's aqueous, okay, 
and that yields. Um, now I'm going to put all of the right hand stuff on the right side of the equation, 8 nickel 3 plus. I minus and four H2O's. Okay. So I, I kind of just canceled out electrons before they showed up here, but check, is, is there water on both sides or is there H plus on both sides? That, no, so that's, that's the um, most simplest possible balanced equation. So that's our final answer.